Hello class. In this video, just because I think it's a fun Photoshop tool to do, I'm going to show you how to make like flowers really quickly, just because it shows some paintbrush techniques and stuff that I think are important to learn. I have shown this in other videos, but just to sort of associate it with this assignment, I'm going to show how to do it really quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up, I guess technically I should probably be between my grass edging and my shadows layer. So I'm going to make a new layer and call it flowers. And actually, I'm going to need a few layers for for flowers, but I'll call it flower for now. And I'm going to I'm going to paint the grass just like I did for the grass edging, except from not I'm going to use a paintbrush instead of clone stamp, and I'm going to have to therefore designate my colors. So I'm going to pick a couple color greens. One will be dark, a slightly darker green, and you can always adjust these as needed. One will be maybe a lighter green just like this, so two color greens. And I'm going to go to my paintbrush, and I'm going to select that same grass um paintbrush that we use for the grass edging way under legacy brushes somewhere down here so i'll go to grass the the one difference is i'm going to i'm going to want to make these i'm sort of going to approximate the stems and whatnot so i'm going to want to make the brush size pretty big um i'm just trying to see where on screen my my brushes there we go if I make it really big oh, that's going to be a giant flower so that's definitely too big but um is going to have to be substantially large. Um, so there we go. I have it about four or five hundred. I'm just going to paint right on there. I'll put flowers right in front of this edge right here, and you can put them wherever you want. This techniques work. So so there's sort of the flower edge. Um, one th one thing I can do is I can add the grass edging along the bottom. Um, so if I come down to grass edging and go to clone stamp, press Alt, I can just like anything else. So actually, I'm going to have to make a new layer for that to cover up that edge so it doesn't have such a strong bottom. So it's sort of like grass is sort of sticking up there, just like that. So we'll call this the flower edging to name my layers. And then that right now it's just grasses, but let's put some flowers on this, on these. So I'll make a new layer for this. I'm going to call it flower two sort of called the first one flower stems, but that's okay. We're gonna use a different brush, but very similar techniques. We're gonna use a leaf actually, and we're just gonna make it small. And, and this leaf brush is great because it works for trees. I'll often enhance trees the same way. Maybe I'll do that in this video as well. I'll show this, but first for flowers, I'm gonna make my flowers pink. So I'm gonna come up to sort of a pinkish color here. And I want to, it's gonna be, have some variation to it. So I'm gonna also make a lighter version of that pink just like this. I'm going to come up to my paint brushes. And again, because they're going to be so small, you just need approximately the right shape. And what I find works quite well is the leaf paintbrush, the scattered maple leaves, um, which is uh, also under those legacy brushes. And we might have to try a couple things before we get it exactly right. But if I click, we can see, um, actually, I'm using clone stamp rather than paintbrush. My apologies. Make sure you're on paintbrush. Don't do what I just did then go to maple leaf because it's going to use the foreground colors. We can see right now it's all just the pink color here, which is okay. I'm just going to control Z to undo this. I'm going to have to make some adjustments to my paintbrush settings. So if I come over to my paintbrush settings, which is this right here, I can actually see a few things. So I can like go to scatter and I can make my scattering much wider. And so you can see when I do that, it's going to put the flowers much further apart. Now that's probably too wide in that case, but it's a good example. Um, in fact, I don't even mind that one, but I'm going to turn this down a little bit. And I want to go to color dynamics. I want to do foreground background jitter. That's going to allow it to, to go from the darker pink to the lighter pink. So I'm just going to like sort of click just very lightly, click and let go a bunch of times just to sort of plop on some flowers just like that. And if I want to get real fancy, I might come back and maybe set this to yellow. Maybe make it a nice bright yellow on one side and a dimmer yellow like this, and maybe I'll add some yellow flowers in here as well, just to give it a little bit of sense, just like that. So that's how you add flowers, just by using the leaf tool, using grass for the stems and leaves for the flowers. Again, I didn't really think about placement or much. I'm just showing you technique, but you might get along with better, making it better placement. And, and the same thing, this leaf thing actually works great for trees as well, to enhance trees or add trees. And so if you wanted to do that, I could make a new layer say go leaves and maybe i'll use my eyedropper to pick a couple um you know a dark color of the leaf and 
a light color of the leaves. Oops. Let's get a light color over here. There we go. Dark and light color of my leaf. Um, select my paintbrush. Make sure I've got leaf. Now, in this case, I'm probably going to have to make the size a little bit larger. And I can paint on leaves. Maybe you want to, in this case, making a bit highlighted. But, you know, if I want to extend this tree out, I can do that just like that. Um, you know, it look, works pretty well. I think it even enhances a little bit. I can paint it over here. Let's give it a little more life. In fact, if I'm in the foreground, I should make my paintbrush a little bit larger. It's okay, I can just go and copy it over. It doesn't need to be perfect, um, just like this. And then if I want to adjust the colors a little bit, this image adjust, I'll go to levels because I think I need to just make it darker. Made it a little bit too bright, maybe. Just like this. And I've just added some trees. In fact, I could even come and say maybe, yeah, let me undo that. Maybe I want to come and add a new tree without doing the whole tree. So what I'm going to do is come under a tree, make a new layer, call it tree four. Make sure it's under all the building layers. And I could start to, to paint a new tree back here. Now this tree is a little, the leaves are a little big probably. I should have made it a little smaller, but there's a tree back here. Uh, you know, maybe there's one popping out along the side. I'm going to make the brush size smaller to do this. Maybe there's a bush or a tree sort of popping out the side of that building there. So that this leaf brush, with just using different colors and different settings under the brush settings and different locations and layers, you can add trees really easily, enhance trees. Oftentimes, that's what I'll do for leaves rather than just using the tree itself. So fun, some fun techniques. Again, they're just really a quick overview. See what you can do. Make your drawing look better than mine. That is your goal for the assignment. I just need to show you the techniques. Experiment. Have fun. See what you can do.